Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. As always, my name is Jay. In this video, I just want to talk about how I am content with my pile of shame. I'm not buying any more models. I'm going to get rid, slowly but surely, I'm going to get rid of my pile of shame. I'm going to paint every model. I'm not buying any more. So what's that? GW's released some new Battle Forces. Are they cool? Oh. How much are they? Oh. Alright. Here's my credit card. GW, take my money. Hey everyone, welcome back. As always, my name is Jay. In this video, I want to talk about the six battle forces, for the Christmas battle forces that have been, that have been pre-information released by Games Workshop for this um, upcoming Christmas season. Today, I want to talk about a few points about each one and just you know my general thoughts because there's six of them. Are they good deals? Are they worth buying? Are they a good starter set for the army? Are they a good supplement to your army? Would you buy multiple boxes? Are they good value? How many points are in each one? Right? And let's go from there. But as I mentioned, there are six battle forces being released this year. Of course, uh, Leagues of Wotan are getting one. Uh, the Orcs are getting one, which is cool. I like the Orc one a lot. The Cadian group of Astro Militarum you know, are getting them. Uh, Space Marines are getting one. Hint. Tyranids. And of course, World Eaters are getting one too. So we'll talk about all six in this video. So up first is the Leagues of Votan Battle Force, as you can see here. It's an interesting set. You get 10 Einir Hearthguard, Einir Champion, a Hecaton Land Fortress, a Sedator ATV, Grim and a Grimnir. So, cool stuff. Um, basically, we don't know how much these are going to cost. I'm assuming that they're going to be about the same as they were last year, which is about $250 US, and that's what I'm going to talk about my value today. I'm going to talk about USD because I'm Canadian, but it's substantially higher for Canadians. So let's just talk USD. That way it's, it's consistent across the board. So this particular box set has a value of about $385 USD. So if it's being sold at $250, it's basically a third off. Great value. Out of all the battle forces, I think this one actually has the best value of all of them for cost. Now, for points-wise, depending on how you want to load it out, it's about 750 points. Cool. Actually, I don't think there's any choice in this one. So it's 750 points if you want to uh, kit it out. To me, I see it as a great starter. I see it as a great starter if you want to start Leagues of Photon. has a little bit of everything. Uh, there's not a lot of troops to begin with, right? A lot of choices to begin with. So you get the, the ATV, you get a Grimnir, cool... Grip, and you get a uh, you know ten uh, hearth guard and a fortress. Never hurts. So this is a great starter set. I think there's some great value in this. Again, 750 points. The reason why it's, it's usually before the recent changes actually been worth so much more, but they've dropped the points for leagues of Votan so much that's only 750 points. So it'd be about a third of us of an army for 2,000 points. Um, I see this as a great starter set. Depending on how you've already collected leagues of Votan, this may not be the best supplement to your current army. You know, uh, most people already kind of maxed out their ATVs or their fortresses, you know, if they want to. So there, so it depends on how you've already collected. It could make a good supplement. I see this as more of a starter set, to be honest, than the um, than a supplement to existing players' sets because they would have already had all they want and chosen their flavor of Leagues of Votan. This may not fit into their, their idea. So I really wouldn't buy two, to be honest, of them. I wouldn't buy multiple, maybe one if you were starting an army. It'd be a great starting point. But that is the Leagues of Otan Battle Force. Up next, we have the Orcs Battle Force. I'm excited about this one because I love Orcs, as you know. And for Orcs, you're going to notice that the theme of these Battle Forces are really newer models. They're trying to push the newer models, newer kits that are released over the last few years. Because, of course, Leagues of Otan, new army. Um, and now Orcs, 
because orcs are such an old established army, you'll notice all the models are the Beast Snaga themed, right? They're all the models from the most recent codex, and they're all newer kits, which is pretty cool. So someone like me, I don't have any of them, other than I think I have one kill rig that hasn't been assembled or painted yet. This is awesome. I love this kit. So once again, for let's say $250 US, I have no idea how much you're going to get. You get Mazrog, or you can you know, go the generic guy, uh, Squig Hog Boys with a, a knob on Smash a Squig. You get a Pain Boss, 10 Snaga Boys, uh, and a Kill Rig for, you know, a Hunter Kill Rig or whatever rig you want to uh, cho choose up. Um, once again, if you were to go with US pricing, this adds up to approximately $365 US. So it is once again about a third free if it was being sold for $250, good price. Um, but points-wise, it comes up to 730 points, so less than Leagues of Votan, but still a great uh, amount of points, depending on how you want to kit out your specific rig or your uh, your leader of this this army. If you already have Mazrog, you'd go with the generic guy. Less points. Makes sense. Um, so once again, this is a starter set. Yes, it is a fantastic starter set. If you want to start orcs, this is a fun area. It's a very um, specific set of orcs, but it has a nice theme to it. It's fun. It's competitive. Mazarok is uh, arguably the best HQ in the Codex. I don't say it's arguable. He's pretty much the best codex, best HQ in the Codex. So, you get a Pain Boss. You get some Snaga Boys, which are better than normal boys. You get the Kill Rig. Pretty cool stuff, right? Cool stuff. Makes a great starter set. Makes a great supplement. To Orc players like me, I've been in the game for 10 years with my current orcs. I don't have any of these guys. I would pick this up as a supplement. Heck, I'd even pick up two if I had the money because, yeah, it, you could buy two of them and because you have options, again, the only, uh, you have two rigs, you can still choose whichever combination you want and you have two Mazrog or other guy, you can choose one of each. And then you have two squads of squid boys, which are awesome. Two hunt to killer rigs, awesome. Pain bosses, meh, 20 snaga boys great combination of squads. Um, so it's great value. It would make an awesome starter set for somebody who's starting orcs, a great supplement, and you can even buy multiple. So what's wrong with that? Love the orcs battle force. To me, it's actually one of the best ones in this group by far. Up next, we have the Cadians. As you can see here, this one is an interesting one. I want your opinions on this one, of course, and all the other ones in the comment section down below. Hmm. So the Cadian Defense Force, you get 20 Cadian Shock Troops, a Cadian Command Squad, and two, and that's the interesting part, two Rogal Dorn Battle Tanks. So once again, assuming uh, a price of USD, this would add up to $345 US, so still a good amount of savings. Points-wise, 705 points for points. In this case, it's pretty much black and white. You can't really modify much. And yeah, what do I think about it? It's interesting. The big question in a lot of armies is, do you want to run multiple Rogal Dorn, Rogal Dorn battle tanks? One seems to be uh, an ingredient of a lot of lists. Two, maybe. And that's the thing. If someone already has one, they definitely don't want to run three because they're really expensive. There's 260 points each, right? So you wouldn't run three for 780 points. That, that would just be too many points in Rogal Dorn battle tanks. So that's the big question with this one. And basically what happens is the Rogal Dorm Battle Tank and the Cadian Command Squad up to $245 US. So you're buying this kit, you're basically just getting 20 Cadian Shock Troops for free. All right, they're the, kind of the bonus on this box. So it's an okay starter set. If you want to start an Astro Militarum Army and you want to go Cadian, it makes sense. If you want to go any other faction, no, it doesn't make any sense at all. Um, if you really like Rogal Dorn Battle Tanks, it makes sense. Could this make a good supplement to an existing Astro Militarum army? Potentially. If the person doesn't have a lot of Cadians or doesn't have two, uh, any. I'd say if you don't have any Rogaldorn battle tanks, this could make a good supplement to what you already have. Would you buy two? No. You wouldn't buy two because no one would need four Rogaldorn battle tanks. What I'm could happen is just you could sell off the other Rogaldorn or split one with a friend. I don't know. But I just don't see that. This one's kind of a weird one to me. It does, it has, it's a specific theme. And it has an ingredient that is very hit or miss with people's lists. A lot of people don't want to run multiple Rogaldorn battle tanks, especially they won't run them three. 
So you're really targeting people who want to, are new to Astro Militarum and want to run Cadian, which then it would make sense. Cool. But overall, compared to, once again, Legs of Oton, which would be a great starter set in my opinion, and Orcs, which is just, just awesome in all ways, Cadian, meh. Yeah. And speaking of meh, let's go to, in my opinion, the worst one. This one is the worst, I don't think it's debatable, the Space Marines one. Um, I'm really disappointed in the Space Marines one. They could have gone in so many directions, but they decided to go jump pack intercessors. So the Space Marines Battle Force, as you can see here, you get 15 jump pack intercessors. A captain on jump pack, a squad of outriders, and an ATV. Cool. So, once again, if you were to add up all the costs of this box set, it only comes to $330. So, once again, we're getting cheaper and cheaper. Now, you're not getting a third for free. You're basically getting 25% off the box. If it's $250 US, it's $330 US for the contents. But it's $330 of models you may not necessarily want or need. GW's trying to use newer models, and I see this as a way of offloading a bunch of models that haven't sold particularly well. You know, most of the uh, Space Marine factions, oh yeah, people are running some squads of Jump Pack Intercessors, maybe with a Jump Pack Captain, but not 15. Um, no. And Outriders, most people already have enough in their army. I have tons in my army. Don't need any more. ATV's great. To me... If I was to fix this set just as a base point, I would have started off with six Outriders and one ATV, because then you get a full squad of six Outriders and an ATV. Um, that would bring the value up to about $390, which is would make it the best valued kit, and that would help justify the fact that you'd be buying 15 Jump Pack Intercessors, where you can simply buy Jump Packs and put them on Intercessors, or Assault Intercessors, then you get Jump Pack Intercessors. Yeah. I just don't like this kit. Um, I don't think it's a, a combination of models that people would like to run. As far as a starter set, this is not where I would start a Space Marine Army. This is nowhere near where I'd st recommend starting a Space Marine Army. So I don't like it. I don't like it as a starter set. Uh, supplement? It's okay. You know, for Space Marine players like me, um, and most, I don't have a, any Jump Pack Intercessors. I don't have a Jump Pack Captain. They just came out. I decided not to buy them. Three Outriders, meh, I could add more. ETV is always great to go with my Outriders, but they're, they come from uh, detachments or uh, that I just don't feel are going to be really the favorable ones. You know, like if I look, think of the strongest Space Marine models right now based on the new detachments, I don't think of Jump Pack Intercessors. They're cool, they can tie up. They're not incredible in close combat. They have Hammer Wrath, which is cool. The Captain on Jump Pack is cool. Uh, eight Outriders, again, if you're running the White Scars Detachment, you're kind of in trouble. ATV, meh, right? So, yeah, uh, I don't see this as a very good starter set. If you're thinking of starting Space Marines, maybe it's an okay supplement. The value really isn't there. Oh, and it's points-wise. It's only 505 points. It has very, very little or none. It has no uh, point adjustment, so it's 505 points. So, for... Let's say it's $250, it's the worst ratio of points, it's the worst ratio of discount, not a very good starter set. Okay supplement, wouldn't buy two, right? So to me, hands down, this is the weakest of all the Battle Forces bar none. Which sucks, because if they chose some of the other cooler Space Marine models, maybe they could have really made a Space Marine Battle Force that really um, appealed to a lot of people, maybe not just offloading models that didn't sell. That's my thought. Up next, we have the Tyranids Battle Force. As you can see here, awesome sauce. So you get a Norn Emissary, or the other Norn guy, whichever one you want. A Hive Tyrant, which you can build as a Hive Tyrant with wings or a Swarm Lord. You get 20 Hormigons, 10 Gene Stealers, both the newer um, Sculpts, and Ripper Swarms for... Again, let's assume $250. It's worth $330 in models. So once again, uh, it's on the lower end of the spectrum for discount. You're getting about 25% free. Essentially, you're getting kind of like a free Hive Tyrant, right? If you remove the Hive Tyrant, the value is only $270. So you're basically getting just over a free Hive Tyrant. Um, would this be a great starter set? Yes. This would make a great starter set. If you're, playing, if you're new to Tyranids, Hive Tyrants are... 
still a, a part of a lot of, lot of armies, and it's a versatile model. You can go Hive Tyrant, Hive Tyrant with Wings, or Swarm Lord, plus you get the new Norm model, which can run as the Norm Emissary, and um, he's awesome. He's, he's again, in green to a lot of lists. You get 20 Hormigons, great baseline squad, and 10 Gene Sitters with the new Sculpts. Cool, right? It's uh, about 865 points, depending on what combination. For this particular one, there's a lot of different combinations of points because there's six different combinations of Hive Tyrant that you can run and Norn model, right? There's two Norn models. There's uh, three different Hive Tyrants. So you can do six different combinations of points. The highest one adds up to, I think, 865. So tons of points that you get. Um, models that you would use if you're new to the army, for sure. Now, is this a great starter? Yes, as I mentioned, great starter set. Is this a good supplement? No. Um, if you're an existing tier unit player, you have more Hive Tyrants than you know what to deal with. I have four or five, including the Swarm Lord, five. Five Hive Tyrants in my collection behind me. I don't need any more Hive Tyrants. And if I don't need any Hive Tyrants, once again, the discount in this box drops substantially and you're not getting much. So if you need a Hive Tyrant, awesome. And also I have tons of Hormigons, tons of Gene Seals already. You can always get more. They're new sculpts, they're cool stuff. Uh, the Norm model is really where this kit shines, but of course they also want to include the 20 Hormigons, which are new sculpts. The 10 Gene Seals, which are new sculpts, I'm guessing didn't sell incredibly well. Um, would you buy two if you're a brand new Tyranid player? Sure, buy two, right? It gives you two Norms. It gives you two um, Hive Tyrants, 40 Hormigons. 10 Gene Stealers. You're really cooking as far as points go. This is almost a 2,000 point list then. They're already at like 1,700 points and it's models that are pretty solid in this edition. So yes, it would make a great uh, starter set. You can buy two supplement wise. I wouldn't really see this as a great supplement to our music exists like mine because once you take away the Hive Tyrant model, which I wouldn't need, the box really drops in value. And finally, World Eaters. They got theirs. And so World Eaters, for whatever price, you get Angron, awesome, 10 Corn Berserkers, and six Exalted, eight Bound, awesome. So if you add up the price of all these models, it's $355 US. So once again, it's substantial savings, right? You'd be getting uh, over a third for free, which is fantastic, or about a third for free, yeah. So once again, great value in the box. Um, Points-wise, it adds up to 915 points, approximately. I think it's 915 off my math, but I think I might be wrong on my math. We'll see. But it's it's it would also be added up to 888. But it's still like 900 points of models, which is amazing. And now most of them are Angron, right? Angron's like 415 points now. So most of them are Angron. Yeah. Um, would this make a good starter set? 100%. If you're playing World Eaters, Angron is like the foundation of your army. You play World Eaters because you want to be running corn and corn berserkers, and, and Angron is just an amazing model and great rules, great sculpt. He's, yeah. So of course this would make a fantastic starter set, right? Um, would this make a good supplement? No. This would not make a good supplement because the majority of the value of this box is Angron. And any existing World Eater player would already have Angron if they wanted to play Angron. So would this make a good supplement to an existing army? No. Would you buy two of them? No. Unless you want to buy two and sell Angron on eBay uh, to make up most of your money back, you would not buy two. Right. If you're an existing player, you probably wouldn't even buy one. If you're new to the army, you'd buy one for sure. Because Angron is $170 by himself in US. So for the price of Angron and the Corn Berserkers, you're essentially getting six, eight, exalted eight bound for free. Good value. Right? So there we go. That's that summarizes all of them. Leagues of Votan, great starter set, great value. We have uh, Orcs, great starter set, great value, great supplement, um, a great area of orcs and i think it's gonna be a lot of fun i might pick up that one myself we'll see if i bought any of them i'd buy the orcs one for me but that's just my personal tastes we have the cadian very specific to the cadian if you really want to run cadian you don't have any rogal dorn tanks great pick one up awesome supplement to your army great star set if you want to run those rogal dorn tanks you basically get 20 free astro militarum troop guys space marines meh that's all I'm saying. Meh. Uh, Tyranids, great starter set once again. Tons of points. Great models if you don't have them already. If you have an existing Tyranid army, I don't see much value in this box set because of the Hive Tyrant being in there. If they replaced the Hive Tyrant with an Exocrine, I would have done that. If you replaced the Hive Tyrant with an Exocrine, 
I think it would have fixed the box and it would have sold, it's gonna sell a lot more because you can run a lot more exocrines than you want. Most people have less exocrines in their armies right now or uh, toxicrines or, you know what I'm saying? Like it, one, of the, one of the monstrous creatures. Something with uh, those kits, the exocrine kit could be a great one or a Tyranifex kit or something, uh, the other kits that aren't, you know, everyone has high tyrants if you're an existing tier in this player. And world eaters, Angron's awesome. Once again, a huge benefit if you uh, don't have the, the world leaders, but if you do have world leaders, you're not going to want to buy this kit. That's it. So what do you think about these kits? Leave comments in the comment section down below. Help subscribe to my channel if you've ever done so, and like this video. And I really do hope you enjoyed the, this video, and see you tuned for new battle sets. Talk to you soon, this is Jay saying, happy painting.